Welcome to the 40th Annual Governor's Arts Awards. This is the first of many events that you'll be seeing over this month and throughout March. I'm very happy to be standing here in the Winslow Arts Trust Museum. We're gonna have a special guest here in a moment telling us a little bit about this. But I'm most excited to kick off these nominee events, to recognize the finalists, and just to celebrate arts in Arizona. Unfortunately, we still can't all be together, but I thought that we could still see and visit the rest of Arizona and each other's corners of this amazing state. So that's why I'm standing here in Winslow, Arizona at the Winslow Arts Trust Museum. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce Dan Lutzik, who's gonna tell you a little bit about the museum. Hello, my name is Dan Lutzik and I am the chair of the Winslow Arts Trust. I'm also affiliated with La Posada Hotel as one of the original partners. And uh, I'm the owner, uh, along with my wife Ann Mary, of Snowdrift Art Space, uh, all of these properties being in downtown Winslow. Um, what I'll mention right off the bat, since we're standing next to one of my sculptures, uh, is that uh, Snowdrift Art Space is really a wonderful space, 22,000 square feet in an old Babbitt Brothers department store uh, that's located a couple blocks from La Posada. It's a live, work, exhibition space. We're, uh, we're allowed to do that in downtown Winslow, so a number of artists have taken over these buildings and converted them into their studios and exhibition spaces, and they house their collections. Uh, but been a project that Anne Mary and I have been working on now for almost 20 years, I think it's 18 years, uh, and along the way have saved a really wonderful building. It's a little over 100 years old, uh, and it provides me a great deal of space to actually collect many of the materials and things that are discarded on these restoration projects like we did at La Posada, and then convert them into, uh, into sculptures. This item to the left of me is, uh, is actually made from found plywood and uh, found stones and whatnot from uh, one of our construction sites and it's called a stone catcher. Um, we're currently sitting in the uh, gallery of the uh, Winslow Arts Trust. This is one of our newer galleries. There's five in this building. And the Winslow Arts Trust was uh, actually created by Alan Affelt and Tina Mion, the owners of La Posada. They're the ones who uh, put it together and uh, were able to uh, get a grant to actually convert the uh, La Posada Depot, the original train depot created in 1930, into a museum. Uh, we maintained and restored the historic section of the depot and then uh, added this new gallery, which has a wonderful view of the uh, railroad tracks uh, uh, to, the, to the structure uh, for about 7,000 square feet. We have five really great shows up right now and the gallery we're in um, right now highlights Hamalavi State Park. So uh, a wonderful partnership with uh, uh, the University of Arizona, uh, Arizona State Parks, the Hopi Tribe, the Old Trails Museum, and the Winslow Arts Trust all working together uh, to uh, present this to folks that are traveling this way. Hamalavi is just three miles from us. And uh, I think a little bit later we'll see some of the other exhibits that are in this space. Beyond that, I'm also uh, involved with La Posada Hotel. I was a, a general manager. I'm now kind of an overall supervisor. And uh, other properties, both the Plaza Hotel and the uh, Castaneda Hotel in Las Vegas, New Mexico. And uh, these are historic uh, hotels uh, in, in the case of the Castaneda and La Posada, Fred Harvey hotels that have a rich history uh, and that are tied together in terms of Route 66 and the uh, Santa Fe Railroad. There are historic uh, transportation corridors. It's one of the reasons why we were able to restore them. It's one of the reasons why we have so many visitors, people who are trying to find uh, that history in these regions. And that really is what the Winslow Arts Trust is all about. It's about presenting both contemporary works by artists who are, are creating uh, work in this area or about uh, the historic time periods that, uh, uh, that we uh, exist in, or about uh, literally history exhibits, uh, photography exhibits, uh, uh, archaeological exhibits that talk about the history of the cultures in this area. So uh, really a wonderful overlap, as Winslow is, of all of these things. Thank you, Dan. If you have a chance, please come up and visit this museum and this city. We're in the La Posada Hotel in the museum adjacent to the hotel and the winners of last year's philanthropy awards from the Winslow area were Dan and Tina who helped to restore this hotel. They bought it, they've put their time and, and life into it. 
So please, if you can, come check out the La Posada Hotel. But on with the show. We had a record number of nominees this year, over a hundred, and we always include the finalists from the previous year. So I think we're at about 110 nominees, which for me just tells that magnificent story of how truly amazing Arizona is, the deepness of our arts, and the commitment of the artists who are making amazing arts and culture around the state, from our history to the new and innovative works, all of it is what you're gonna see represented at the Governor's Arts Awards in March. Today, we're here to talk about the small business category nominees and recognize the finalists. The nominees are Davidson Entertainment, Durant Communications, Emancipation Arts, El Da Vinci Art Studio, Psycho Steve Presents. Wickenburg Chamber of Commerce. Partridge Associates. 